United States of America, the richest country in the world. But does rich mean perfect? I researched state-by-state -state homelessness stats and the numbers are shocking. As per recent government data, there are currently more than 582,000 homeless people in the country. In this video, we are going to count down the top 10 states with the most homeless people. For each one, we will look at stats and insight into why the crisis is so severe there. You will be surprised to know about some of these states, so keep watching till the end. My goal is to humanize this issue, advocate for solutions, and not shame any state. There's a lot to cover, so let's dive in. Kicking off our countdown at number 10 is Georgia, with over 10,000 people facing homelessness on any given day. More than 1,300 of these people are either disabled or have been homeless for a long period. But what are the major reasons for the suffering in the Peach State? Well, for starters, you've got cities like Atlanta, where rents keep climbing while paychecks stay stuck. That directly translates to people not being able to afford a place. So you've got folks doubling up with relatives, living out of cars, or on the streets. Domestic violence is also driving a lot of Georgia's homelessness. Imagine having to grab your kids and make a run for it to escape an abusive spouse. That's the reality for so many Georgia women and children who make up over half the state's homeless population. Where do you go when you've got no money or home? Not many options except the streets or crowded shelters. Next on our list at number 9 is Pennsylvania. More than 13,000 individuals in the state have no roof over their heads. And over 4,800 of these are homeless families. In cities like Philadelphia, the widening gap between wages and rising living costs leaves many on the verge of losing their homes. The struggle, however, extends beyond urban landscapes. In rural counties, unseen poverty forces individuals into precarious living situations, couch surfing, car dwelling, or doubling up with others. From a high unemployment rate to one of the highest tax rates in the country, Pennsylvania has a lot of issues that keep and push many more to homelessness. From bustling city streets to quiet rural communities, the struggle against homelessness in Pennsylvania demands attention. Are you enjoying this video so far? If yes, then please consider supporting our channel by hitting that like and subscribe button. It helps us a lot to reach more people like you and will encourage us to make more informative videos like this. All right, back to the topic. Down to number eight, we have Arizona, where over 13,500 have no home. In Phoenix, heat that fries eggs on sidewalks offers no mercy to those sleeping under bridges and freeways. There are many reasons for this dire humanitarian situation in the state. Arizona is the 15th most expensive state to live in and has high poverty and joblessness. A whopping 4.5% of the Grand Canyon state population is unemployed. All of these, one way or another, promote homelessness. Now picture being homeless while fighting addiction. Arizona has alarming drug addiction issues and is fourth most opioid-affected state in the country. A lot of these addicts often face expulsion from their homes, cause their problems with addiction, make them unbearable for family members. Not to mention, 42% of women and 34% of men in Arizona face domestic violence at some point in their life. A lot of these people prefer to run away from home and end up on the streets. Do you know which state has even larger homeless populations despite greater wealth and resources? Keep watching as we count down. Moving up to number seven is Massachusetts. The state is known for its education and health care. But with more than 15,500 people without a place, you will also remember it as a state with high homelessness. There are 22 without a home in every 10,000 people. But what's behind this sobering statistic? Well, it's a combination of factors. With housing rates soaring and a cost of living index surpassing 130, the Bay State is one of the most expensive places to live. From bustling cities like Boston to rural towns, the struggle for stable housing is real. Renting an apartment is not affordable either. But the face of homelessness isn't just adults. It's families, veterans, and youth, each facing unique challenges. 
Massachusetts is also facing heroin addiction and high domestic violence issues, all of which can make people lose their homes. Next up at number six is Oregon, the state of stunning landscapes and outdoor adventures. But there is more to this beautiful coastal state. The Beaver State has over 17,000 people suffering on the streets on any given day. That's more than 42 people in every 10,000 of the population. Over 3,300 of these are families with no place to stay. There are economic challenges and housing affordability issues in the state. With a poverty rate of 12% and soaring housing prices, many Oregonians are priced out of the market, forced to choose between paying rent and other essential expenses. Unemployment in the state is rising and the cost of living is 21% higher than the national average. And did I mention the drug addiction issue, which makes the situation further more difficult? In urban areas like Portland, the struggle is visible, with individuals camping in parks and seeking refuge in shelters. It's a multifaceted issue that requires a comprehensive approach to address effectively. Now let's turn our attention to number five, Texas. The Lone Star State has more to it than cowboys in large cities. The second most populated state hosts more than 24,000 people without a home. At least 1,700 of these are veterans who lost homes and are on the streets now. In cities like Houston and Dallas, the struggle is visible, with individuals seeking shelter in overcrowded facilities and makeshift camps. Why so much homelessness, you may ask? As per the latest data, 4% of the state population has no jobs. 14% of the residents live under the poverty line, many of whom find themselves on the brink of homelessness. A whopping 40% of women in Texas suffer domestic abuse at some point in their life. A lot of these women eventually run away and end up on the streets. Indeed, the state has a relatively low homelessness rate for its population, which should be appreciated. But the aim should be to have zero homelessness. Are you ready for what comes next? Number four brings us to the evergreen state in the Northwest region. Washington may be known for Starbucks and large corporations like Microsoft and Boeing. But on a rather gloomy side, the state has a whopping 25,000 people without a roof over their heads. Seattle bears the brunt of the crisis with over 13,000 unhoused individuals, the third highest urban homeless population in the U.S. There are 33 homeless people for every 10,000 people in the state. As the tech industry has boomed, housing costs have skyrocketed in Washington cities beyond many incomes. Seattle's average home price is now over half a million dollars. Rents have risen 69% in the last decade, while wages stagnated, displacing lower earners. Besides unaffordable housing, other drivers include high rates of domestic violence, Limited shelters and permanent supportive housing have left thousands on the street. The third spot is taken by the state that is world-renowned for its beach resorts, amusement parks, and warm and sunny climate. Yes, we are talking about Florida with close to 26,000 homeless people. Most of the homeless population is concentrated in cities like Jacksonville, Tampa, and Miami. However, the crisis spans both urban and rural regions. While Florida's economy is strong overall, there is extreme income inequality and poverty. 13% of residents live below the poverty line. Wages have not kept up with the rapidly increasing costs of housing. Miami has become a hub for real estate investment by the global wealthy, pricing lower income locals completely out of the market. Florida was also hit hard by the foreclosure crisis and recession, with impacts still being felt. The lack of tenant protections has led to waves of evictions for those unable to afford rent hikes. With such insufficient social services, thousands have no choice but to live on beaches, in cars, in makeshift camps, or crowded shelters unfit for long-term residents. This next state is one of the richest in the country, but its homelessness most likely will not surprise many. From Wall Street to iconic skyscrapers, who knew the state of riches would be the second most homeless in the country? New York State sealed the second spot with its whopping 71,000-plus statewide homeless residents. 
This is driven by New York City's homelessness crisis, where close to 62,000 people are sleeping in NYC shelters and subways every night. There are 37 homeless people for every 10,000 of the population. NYC has severe income inequality and a lack of affordable housing. The median rent for a one-bedroom apartment in NYC is now over $3,000 per month, the highest in the country. More than half of NYC renters pay up to 40% of their income just for housing. The cost of living index in the state is more than 150, illustrating just how difficult it is to make ends meet here. The state has almost 35,000 homeless families, the most for any state. With rents far outpacing wages, overcrowded shelters, and limited affordable housing units, homelessness has reached unprecedented levels. Sure, New York is more than just NYC, and agreeably, the affordability is near national averages for the rest of the state, but that does not mean the state is exempt from the homelessness crisis. All right, now we are down to the number one spot. Can you guess this state with the most homeless people? More than 170,000 people without a home make California the most homeless state in the country. The Golden State represents over a quarter of the national homeless population. Los Angeles County alone has over 65,000 homeless people. San Francisco, San Diego, Sacramento, and other urban centers also have massive unhoused populations. Encampments with thousands of people have formed in nearly every city. Key drivers that push people to homelessness include absurdly high housing costs and rents throughout the state. California has six of the ten most expensive rental markets in the country. The median home price is now nearly $800,000. With stagnant lower incomes, housing is simply unattainable for many. A high rate of poverty, domestic violence, and addiction is also blooming there. California lacks adequate shelter capacity and transitional housing to match the extraordinary scale of need. Many are left to sleep on sidewalks, in vehicles, tents, or makeshift shelters without basic sanitation and services. With the largest homeless population nationwide, California clearly needs transformative policies and investment to resolve this humanitarian crisis unfolding on its streets. So there you have it, the top 10 states with the most homeless people in the country. If you enjoyed this video, then like, share, and subscribe, and check out this next video on your screen.